Welcome to your lesson in Technique Tip One Shot S Wrap. This variation can be quite demanding strength wise on your upper body, your core, and also your hip flexors, but I like it because there's not a lot of steps required. It looks like this hands in front of the chest. I take my feet off. It's almost like a hip key, but instead the tail goes behind me one, two, three to the hip, hook the knee, and then pass the tail to the front. And there we are in our S wrap. Once you have your S wrap, you can work on your windmill. I do suggest just working the wrap itself low prior to adding the windmill, pass the fabric to the side, grab underneath the knee, straddle, and come out. This is what it typically looks like for somebody that's new to it. Watch my left leg. I don't lift it up high enough. The fabric doesn't get over my tushy. And when I hook my knee, I have this baggy situation going on behind me. Ideally, that should not happen and the fabric should be nice and tidy around your waist from the get-go. And then again, we can windmill. So I will show us a few different conditioning options and things that will help us out to make sure that the fabric truly gets in the right spot. But first, let's do the whole thing once again. Going around the tail, hook the knee, pass the fabric to the front. The more upper body strength, hip flexor strength, as well as hip mobility you have, the easier this will be. To get out, grab underneath the knee, pull, and step. Okay, so I'll do this again in slow motion so we can really see where everything is going. The moment I take my feet off, I bring my hips slightly forward. I go around the tail. Now the crucial part is lifting that left leg high enough so the fabric gets to your lower back. If the fabric is on your booty or your thighs, when you go to hook your knee, that's when you'll have that loop around your back. Okay, and then pass the fabric to the front. We are working on windmills. Remember the cue tight is light. The tighter you keep your legs and your core and also your glute muscles, the more control you will have in your windmill. Hooking the same side knee and then pass the fabric to the right side. So the knee that's hooked, that's the side you pass the tail to. Right hand reaches up high, left hand grabs underneath. Switch the grip so both hands grab the pull in, pull up, straddle, and then the wrap falls off. First conditioning is using the hammock knot. So from here we can go into the hammock knot by hooking the knees and sitting. Slide the touch forward and the legs do the same exact actions. One, two, straddle and then hook the knee. This is where you can really focus on getting that fabric all the way up and over your tushy to your lower back. And you'll see here, if it's not getting to your lower back, notice it gets all the way up over and then hook. Whatever you do here will be pretty much what happens in your S wrap. This is beneficial because it gives you a little help with the hammock knot. You don't have to hold as much weight. Next thing is side lying grand battements, making sure that we are turning our leg out from our hip. If your leg is internally rotated, meaning turned in, you won't be working your turnout muscles. And when you do the leg lift to the side for the S wrap, it more than likely won't work out. So I would say do 20 of these on each side. Next thing is just standing grab up mats. So this is grab up mat to the side or a la second. Practice these 10 on each side, and this will help you get more mobility and strength. Again, making sure we're not turning in, but externally rotating the leg. Thanks for joining me in the one-shot entry into SRAP. 